Okay, hello, welcome to this video. It is currently Tuesday at 7.22. about to go work out about to go do the elliptical my body hurts relatively bad because i went to get a massage yesterday so that is what it is um i also started my period which is not ideal my period isn't killing me as much i don't know i feel like some days i think i have endometriosis and other days i think this surgery is gonna reveal that i don't i don't know it was just me it was just me I mean, it'd be it'd be good if I didn't have endo, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, I have a million and one things to do today. I have to submit grades for two of my classes, which I guess I should have done yesterday, but I'm going to do it today. I have to work out, obviously. I have to meet with my group for my group project that's to do that I have surgery and all of that. So I got to get myself sorted because I have so much to do. Um, and literally not enough time to do it, so there's that. But let's go work out, and then I guess we'll get ready and walk the dogs and stuff, and then come back, shower. I have to also wash my hair to tonight. I'm not going to wash it this morning. I'm going to wash it tonight. Um, take my earrings out. All that. I'm apparently just have a phone call at 10. Um, but yeah, I also got my results for my COVID test this morning. They were negative, so there we go is what it is all right let's go work out now okay whoa what is happening um sorry oh wow okay i need to really take care of my face apparently mascara all over it um i look absolutely crazy i promise i wasn't crying i just got out of the shower um i washed my hair because it's tuesday night it's currently 6 19 and we need i need to wash my hair I put like a shampoo or a leave-in conditioner because I can't put any product in it. So I figured that would at least help it a little bit. It's still shutting. Um, and then I think I'm gonna have my mom French braid it. I mean, I can too, so maybe I'll do it in the morning. Um, I might just let it dry a little bit tonight. I don't know how it decided yet. I need to take care of this situation real quick. Um, and then I need to actually have my mom go take out my earrings. Um, but yeah, my hair's actually pretty curly. I'm just worried that it's going to be a little frizzy. But that's okay. Um, I clearly need to do something about all the mascara that's on my face. Um, but yeah. That's kind of what just happened. I showered. It took me a while to shower because I didn't really want to wash my hair. I hate washing my hair. Um, and then... Yeah, I don't have to do a bowel prep or like any like scrubs or anything. So if you have to do that, do that, but I don't. Um per directions. Um my period is also like killing me. I'm also sitting in my bathroom, I promise. Like I'm fully I'm fully clothed. I just didn't want to get out of my bathroom. It's warm in here and it's cold out there. Um but yeah, so tomorrow, it's going to be early. I'm going to try to wake up and do a workout. Actually, I'm going to because I don't think I'm going to sleep tonight because I'm not allowed to use CBD and I'm not allowed to take my other medication for sleeping. So hot feeling it's not going to be a great night uh, for sleep, but we'll see. But yeah, so I'm going to wake up at 4.30 and do a workout. And then get ready. I guess, like, feasibly, they told me I could wash my hair in the morning, too. But I just was like, eh, I don't really want to do that. Because I don't want to have wet hair. And I don't really want to dry it if I don't have to. Okay. Oh, wow. Hi, hair. So, I have just eaten literally so much food. It's crazy. Because my body has been really hungry today. So, that's what we did. Um, Took out my earrings as much as I could. I can't get this one out. I never can. They just always tape it. And normally I would go and get it taken out, but frankly, can't do that. 
Okay, hello, it is currently five in the morning. I have to be there at six. Actually, I don't think it's quite five, but it's, it's getting there. That clock is wrong, but whatever. Um, I did a little bit of a workout. I wasn't feeling super like into like doing all of it. I did arms um, because I think that's the one thing that I will probably miss the most because my legs, I still will be able to like move around and stuff like doing cardio. So still the legs, um, I don't want to do abs. My legs and abs are hurting really bad, but I need to French braid my hair and I need to, I really wish I could put chapstick on because my hair, my lips are like dry as hell. Um, and then I'm going to put on this dress. I've worn this dress for every surgery minus one, which was my most recent one because it was on my legs. So I didn't want to wear a dress for that, but I've worn it for every other surgery. So no exceptions here. It's going to be freezing. Actually, that's a lie because the first surgery I had was in like, november or october in ohio so it probably wasn't that it probably was cold too um it's supposed to be 73 degrees today at some point but i do have pajamas already out when i get home because i know that with covid and stuff i'm not going to want to be in that dress when i get home um because you know germs <laughs> um and then i actually have my water for my mom to take i guess i could have drank in this when i got up because i got up at like 3 30 i just couldn't sleep because i'm not i wasn't allowed to take anything last night so I wasn't allowed to take my CBD or my Trezidine or Trezidone, something like that. Um, so I didn't really sleep very well last night, which is fine. I'm going to be sleeping all day today. But anyway, I was kind of hoping that, I don't know, I was hoping something. I'm tired. Um, but yeah, so we have to be there at 6. So I need to kind of get myself together a little bit. I look so tired okay so we're in the car we had mask malfunctions um i forgot a mask and my mom forgot her mask because she's going to work because she works in the hospital where i'm having surgery just makes it more convenient and yeah we're about to head out it's also fucking freezing and there's it's like a big ass truck driving on the wrong side of the road but yeah I'm home. I look like crap. I did not get the news I was expecting. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. I was kind of half hoping that, like, they would open me up and not find endo. That was completely false. Um, I actually have to go to a different doctor and have surgery again. Because there was just too much endo and my doctor wasn't comfortable removing it all basically my entire left ovary and uterus is completely attached which i guess we should have known considering my left ovary isn't in the right place but i'm really upset at myself almost because i feel like i should have known but i wasn't in that much pain for very long so i was just I don't know, like, if I was in pain earlier in my life, it wouldn't have been that bad. We would have taken care of it earlier. But I don't know. Those are just my thoughts. And I'm so tired, and the anesthesia is still in my system, so. Update. Still laying here. I had some ice cream. Some vegan ice cream. Um, I literally just feel like my low i did like a whole lower abdomen workout and my mouth feels so gross but it is what it is um my mom's grabbing me my electric uh heating water bottle thing um still kind of annoyed still upset but I just need to get over being upset and mad at myself. We're just going to move on because that's not really productive. Um, but yeah, I need to also sleep because I haven't really slept since I woke up. But wow, I look really good today. Update still in the same spot. Um, I don't think I said this. So they, they did an anti-swab. I would have totally filmed in the hospital, but they literally took my phone away, like, early on. So, anyway, 
they did this antiseptic nose swab thing. Holy crap, my nose hurts so bad. Like, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, it hurts. Like, oh my god, on top of everything else, like, why? Um, also, if you're wondering why I have a panda band-aid on, it's because that's where the IV was, and I can only use adhesive for so long before I have to, like, switch to all-natural stuff. Update again. I haven't really done much. I've just been peeing and drinking water and laying here because I don't have anything else to do. Um, I'm really getting hungry, but my mom is at her physical appointment. My dad's here, so it's not a big of a deal, but, um, she is going to bring me back a frap, you know, that I can have, um, because I really can't be eating that much because my throat is just like, meh. Okay, there we go. My mom got back from her physical. I got a little frappy frap. This is what I order, by the way. It will focus. Anyway, that's what I'm having. No matter what, I always end up with frap. After surgery, it helps a lot with my throat. It's 5 p.m. I have no idea what I'm doing about eating dinner because I'm not really that hungry. Um, I want to say in my last surgery, I ended up ordering uh, plant powered. But that one wasn't that bad. My bloating actually is not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, but they didn't do too much because of the whole situation. So, she removed some, but not a lot. Um, that's where I'm sure I'll be in more pain tomorrow. And, yeah. I know you a thousand percent can't see me. <clears throat> that's okay. It's currently 9.30. At night, I need to sleep, and I haven't slept all day. I'm just kind of laid here, but the pain is definitely getting worse. I need to drink some more water because my throat was, like, really hurting. The gas pain isn't terrible, but it literally feels like I did an entire ab workout. So that's fun. I'm not looking forward to having to do this over again. The gas pain is there, but it's definitely not as bad as long as I, I lay flat down. If I like move around, it definitely starts to hurt. But anyway, that's where we're at. I just had a little bit of food here and there today. Um, I'm looking forward to tomorrow to hopefully being able to have like my normal meals because I've kind of eaten like crap the last few days, which is completely fine. I don't really care, but I just want to make sure that like I'm feeling okay. I don't know. And eat normal food a little bit. Because I'm starting to kind of. Get a little. You know. I don't know. Not feeling so well from eating crappy food. Okay. So I just finished showering. I got like two and a half hours of sleep. So. I'm sure it's going to be a rough day. But that's okay. I'm gonna put some face cream on because my face is like hella dry and yeah, I'm gonna do something with my hair because it looks like a mess, but I have a shirt on, I have sweats on, is what it is. My pads are everywhere. Not really sure what's on that. But anyway, let's wash my hands, put face moisturizer on. I'm so tired. But it's not funny. I'm using the jet lag mask because my face is hella dry. Um, I'm wearing this very big robe because I didn't have a jacket in the house. I'm going to grab a jacket, grab my AirPods, and be able to kind of chill with my heating pad on my stomach. The gas is like still really bad, but I'm going to try to eat something and drink some stuff and we'll see how that goes. Okay, I can't believe I'm showing this on camera, but yeah, I have a bruise there. I don't know what that's from, but we're just going to ignore it. So that's one, that's one, and that's the other. I'm going to now pull up my pants. I'm actually not as bloated as I thought I would be, but definitely still bloated. 
I have a lot of extra skin as you can see. Oh, you can't really see, but I have a lot of extra skin. So anyway, I edited a video. God, I cannot keep this camera straight or my phone straight. Um, I edited a video and now I'm just waiting for it to upload or not upload, export so that I have it. And then I need to actually get started on a different video, but I'm gonna probably try to take a nap before that because my ass is tired. Um, but I just wanna show you my incisions and, and how they're healing. Like I said, I, I'm obviously not super skinny, so like you're not gonna be able to tell super that I'm bloated or like how it all looks. Cause obviously I still, you know, I still have fat, I still, like have all that kind of stuff so anyway i'm gonna take this jacket off i'm gonna lay down now my video is almost exported and then once it exports i'm gonna take out well i guess i'm not gonna take out the drive because i kind of need that um, there we go there's my face uh i like i said oh gosh i went for i don't know if i said this i look terrible um I went for a walk with the dogs and my dad, obviously my dad walked the dogs and I kind of walked behind. I'm not entirely sure what this is happening, but nor here nor there. Um, anyway, I'm gonna sleep that computer. This, my other one is like almost done. Um, but yeah, so how's this going on? Um, I still have like cuts and bruises and all of that um i don't know it's, it's hard to comprehend it literally just feels like i did a really intense ab workout <laughs> that's what it feels like right now but um the gas is seeming to come out that's why i went on a walk i went on like a longer walk with the dog so that and i kept burping so i know that things is coming like the gas is starting to come out and all that um, I'm gonna take off this jacket and lay down in bed and try to sleep because I got like two hours of sleep last night. <sighs> okay, they ha I haven't really updated you all day. I haven't really done much. I just kind of sat and watched movies. Um, oh my god. That pain just, this is the first meal I really had. We had the Wild Tribe, which is a vegan restaurant here. Probably not the best thing I should be eating because it has a whole bunch of gluten. But I really wanted it and... I'm not someone who restricts myself and I didn't even eat all the food we got but oh my god that hit me like a train I just took my first painkiller I haven't taken any painkillers oh I took an naproxen last night but other than that like I haven't taken anything all day and I have oxycodone and I took it because I can't <laughs> can't do it I'm so tired because I didn't. I got like four hours of sleep last night. I took like an hour nap today, so four hours in total, and that pain is incredible. Like I just seem like a ton of bricks. But I did get a referral for the other doctor for the other specialist, so that's good. I have that appointment January thirteenth, so. I'll be just about a month post-op. I think I'll just hit a month or something. And crazy. Happened very quickly. But um, yeah, I'm still dealing with a lot of gas pain. <sighs> if I feel up to it, I'm going to definitely go on a walk this morning. Or tomorrow morning, I hope so. Because that really helped alleviate a lot of it. But um, anyway, I do have to edit as well tonight. Or not tonight, but tomorrow. And... I'm gonna try my best to get as much sleep as I can tonight, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video because I am gonna start the next video, I think, tomorrow. So I'll see you guys next time. I love you guys. Bye! Messy situation right here to show you my incisions because I just feel like that's gonna be easier. So keep in mind, I still have weight on me, I have extra skin things like that again totally different video but i want to show you these anyway because